Ksenia Perova taking out the new world record holder Kang in the quarterfinals and then beat Lei, who just picked up the bronze to make the gold medal match. And Chang, the winner in Shanghai, is her opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to and the field of play. Come on the athletes. For the Curve Women Gold Medal Match. It'll be the second time in history the two archers square off. The ultimate showdown, the rematch of the Mexico City World Championships gold medal match. Joining us now on the field of play, shooting on target number two, representing the Republic of Korea, Olympic champion, Chung Hae Jin. And her opponent, Joining us now on the field of play, the athlete that defeated Lei Xianying in the semifinals, six set points to two, after beating Kang Che Yung in the quarterfinals, six set points to four. Shooting on target number one, representing the Russian Federation. Please prepare yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, Zhang Hei Jin will shoot first. Zhang, you shoot first. Perova. You should second. Range clear. Match begin. So here we go. Ksenia Perova of Russia, the reigning world champion, goes up against oh, yeah. Chang Hai Jin of Korea, the reigning Olympic champion. So we're expecting a great match, Crispin. Yeah, it's the rematch oh, yeah. of the last world championship final, and we'll see who wins away, oh, walks away with the gold here. Eight. Two eights together underway here, the nerves showing a little bit, but first arrows are sighters here. Going up to the left a little bit for the Korean athlete. One drifting out to the right even further. Oh, that's gone even further left. Really struggling there. Chang on target too, closer to the shoreline. And that one drifting out to the left, but 24 plays 23. And Perova has just stolen the first set. It goes two set points to love up. And Crispin, it's really important here because the individual winners here in Antalya qualify directly for the World Cup finals in Samsung. But of course, Chang won in Shanghai. Target two. That's correct. Nine, I mean, if eight. Then you're eight. If Ksenia Perova yep. uh, wins here, then she solidifies oh, sorry, her spot seven. to uh, seven. Samson. But right now, it looks like Chang Hai Jin Nine, has an eight, arrow seven. that yep. needs to be called, and we'll listen for the judge. Oh, not that long. <laughs> Well, good call there, Crispin, because that six has been upgraded to a seven, and so they share the set points here in the first set. And because Chang shot first in the first set, she will continue to shoot first in the second. Range clear. Well, that's more like it. Wow, that's a really big miss from Senya Perova. She's got to laugh that off and shoot a better shot next arrow. Oh dear, oh dear, a five for her first arrow, and then she's put it into the four. 
끝까지 해줘 끝까지 계속 좋아 잘했어 잘했어 Well this uh, set has gone but Perova will want to try and get a good final arrow Oh, and it's a 10 to finish off, but miles off the score there. And uh, Chang gets two set points here. And we just come back to what we were talking about earlier on, Crispin. Important here for the win for Perova, and perhaps uh, that is why we see uh, the nerves coming out in a five and a four on the yellow dots there, Perova's first two arrows, because if she wins, she'll qualify for Samsung later on this year. That's correct, but I've got it under good authority from Chris Marsh telling me that he saw something that looked like Senya Perova might have caught her, sh her chest guard with the string. Catching clothing can actually throw you off by that much. I didn't see it personally, but uh, that's a very big possibility. Chris March, of course, the event director here. Shang leads three set points to one. You shoot first. Those two first arrows Shang. from the Russian. You one going second. right, one going left. And as you can see, her string really pushes hard into the chest guard. If that thing isn't positioned, properly that string will catch and make the arrows throw go the arrow off. off exactly Ooh, we'll have to keep a look out for that one and a reset immediately from the russian here at the start of the third set <laughs> look like a little bit of a rough shot for her which is why that's not in the middle <laughs> That one going left for Chang. We've seen this throughout this tournament. The conditions here on the beach, changeable, is probably the best way to describe them. <laughs> oh, she's creeping closer to the center, the Russian. Oh, shit. Nine will win this set. Well, she gets a 10, and Chang cannot match a 27. She'll still shoot the arrow, though, to make sure she's got a good sighting for the next set. And Ksenia Perova takes the set to draw level at 3-3. Well, you can see some uh, fairly heated exchanges going on between the coach and the athlete there, but then uh, a smile from Chang. Uh, just clearing the range here. Yes. No, I think so. gets back on a level high. terms. Shang. You will shoot first. Chang Hai Jin. You shoot second. Range clear. Well, the range now clear. Level at three. So it's Chang who will shoot first. <laughs> That's a pretty good shot from her, a little bobble, but still executed well. well match by Kasinia Perova. The wind is just cutting across a little bit more perpendicular to the shoreline here, but a 10 for Chang, and she's back in the middle of the target. Pressure on the Russian. Yes. Wow, that's yes, marked yes, as a yes. nine. Will they go and review that one? I think it actually looked out. Nine. Yes, so, needs a 10 here to save the set, the Russian. Mm 
Huge. Drops it into the nine. And Chang, well, the score's to be confirmed, but 28 plays 27. You feel that uh, nine was a nine? Yeah, I, I hmm? looked at it very briefly, but what, from what I could see, I could still see yellow in between the arrow and the line, so I'm fairly confident, 99.9% .9 sure, that that arrow will stay. 9, 9, 9. Target 2, 10, 9, 9. And there you go, it is confirmed spot on from Kristen, Crispin Dianas here. And it's Chang who gets the two set points. And now is just one set point away from the victory here. And it would be back-to-back -back wins for Chang if she does draw level on points in the fifth set. Ksenia Perova needs to get this set in order to stay in with a chance of qualification for Samsung later this year. Trailing athlete, Perova will shoot first. That's good start that's needed. And that's a good, good shot from Senya Perova. Pressure. And this one drops down into the eight there for the Chang. Ten and nine can solidify a shoot off. Well, a nine there. Okay. 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 Oh, she puts it into the eight, so gives Chang the opportunity to get the win here and the women's recurve individual gold, but she needs a ten. And that's a nine. We're going to go to our first shoot-off of all the recurve matches, and this is definitely an exciting one. Gold medal between Olympic champion and world champion. And I think I'll go into what happens with a shoot-off. Each archer will shoot one arrow to the target closest to the center will win, except if the first arrows are both tens. If they're both tens, we will reshoot the arrows. We'll also look for official confirmation here. And as you can see from the overall groupings, Perova was more spread out left to right, where Chang Hai Jin was just off to the left with all of her arrows. Well, yeah, and uh, well, the door opened ever so slightly for Chang. If she'd got a 10 in that last arrow, she would have drawn level on points and got the set point she needed to win outright. But we do have to go down to a shootout here. And just to be clear here, what we're saying is if the first two arrows are tens, it doesn't really matter where they land in the 10, we will have a second arrow shot. That is correct. Chang? And right now they will be replacing the you're targets first, downrange to make sure that we have a fresh target to aim at. You are shooting second, one arrow. Well, here we go. We revert to the original order here, and it will be Chang to shoot first, followed by Perova. Massive pressure on Chang here to get a good arrow out of the bow. And if she gets a 10, then all that pressure moves right the way over to Ksenia Perova, the Russian. As Crispin said, we'll get the new targets up, so we've got a very, very clear picture of how these arrows land in the target in this shootout. Uh, the judge here in the middle just waiting for the range to be clear. A wind is still blowing, coming almost directly off the Mediterranean Sea onto the beach. Well, born to win on the cap of Perova, but what has Chang got to say about that? The winner in Shanghai could repeat here in Antalya. If Perova wins this shoot-off, then she will claim her place in Samsung. But if Chang wins, it opens up a one more place from the World Cup rankings at the end of the season. Of course, we've got Salt Lake City and Berlin to come.
Well, the range is still not clear here. So what's going on down range is they are zeroing in the Falco Eye, the scoring system that measures where the arrows land. We've and got that's the thing that gives us those beautiful pictures of the target and exactly. the, the red and yellow dots. That's correct. So it measures instantly when that arrow hits, and we know exactly where it is. And there they are, measuring it exactly the center of the target. and making sure the lasers are calibrated. And as soon as that is done for both targets, we're ready to go. Well, an important job there. And you know, you know what, it's not the easiest location to set up an archery range, is it, a beach? No, it's not, it's windy. Yesterday there was lots of rain because you're just right beside the water. And uh, they've done a great job making this presentation absolutely beautiful. You can see the shot right here of how it looks. Yeah, and the wind blowing there, the flag showing, because not only have we got this beautiful coastline in front of us, but behind us, we've got mountains, and that makes for these changeable conditions, but it looks like the range is clear. Range clear. So one big arrow for each athlete here. It's Chang who will shoot first. A nine. The door opens for Perova. A place in Samsung at stake here in Antalya. And she gets a nine as well. Wow, so those arrows look really close, like ridiculously close. I'm looking at my iPad here, and we're going to have to go to a measurement, in my opinion, because it is closest arrow to the center will win. And that's what the target judge's job is going to be right now, because those arrows are extremely close. Well, we can see here. Let's see what the judge has to say. Well, you can see the digital device there being used to measure these. And it looks like the judge has given this to Ksenia Perova. She's got the gold medal here in Antalya in the women's individual recurve, and that means she's booked her place to the World Cup Finals in Samsung. Brilliant, brilliant match, and Crispin, what a brilliant climax. Oh my good, everybody here in the stands was standing up, watching to see what that judge was going to be saying, and that was just absolutely exciting. Congratulations to Perova, who has booked her ticket to Samsung over Chang Hai Jin. Both these women we're going to see in the World Cup final later on this year, back here in Turkey. Yeah, quite spectacular. They're both shooting nines in the final arrows and had to go to a measure. Ksenia Perova wins the gold in Antalya. Well, here we go with uh, some of those shots. In the earlier stages, they drew a level at five set points each, and it seesawed between the two athletes. But in the end, it came down to a shoot-off.